Well, good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sam Bowen. New tonight at 11, you may remember a story we brought you last month on the Tybee Island man who rescued a teenager that nearly drowned. Well, today he was honored by Tybee Island City Council and Congressman Buddy Carter for his bravery and selflessness. He told Arbria Bolden he wasn't expecting it, but is grateful for all the support he's received from the community. It's been over three weeks since Matt Kitchens rescued a swimmer on Tybee Island. City Council honored him at their meeting Thursday night for going above and beyond to lend a hand when it was needed the most. We proudly present a certificate of appreciation to Matt Kitchens for his bravery and willingness to go beyond to help his fellow man and for giving back to the community in such a selfless and caring way. Congressman Buddy Carter was also at the meeting and gave Kitchens a letter for his selfless act. And, you know, because of you, there were lives saved. And, you know, to me, that's what Tybee Island's all about. And it's about people helping people. WTOC spoke with Kitchens afterwards. He says he's thankful for all the support he's received from the community, and this experience is humbling. It was a little bit more than I was expecting, but it was a very humbling experience. Um, and I was honored that the city recognized, um, recognized that event in particular, I think it marks a milestone for Tabby. Kitchen says he's thankful for the first responders who put their lives on the line. He also says he's proud of the action the city has taken to target drownings like this one. They have really, you know, moved leaps and bounds in how they operate and, and um, both ends of the island, north end.